This is Barrel House Bessie with Adelaide Roller Derby, and we're here on Thursday night for training at Woodville, South Australia. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people think about roller derby and they think it's a spectacle. What's so competitive about roller derby is that it's a sport, and it's a sport where women get to be individuals as well as being athletes. And that's what's great about roller derby and it being a full-on competitive sport. Adelaide roller derby is cool because we like to skate, we like to knock each other around, and we like to look cute while we're doing it. <laughs> roller derby by just buying a pair of skates and that's what gets you started because as soon as you put on a pair of skates you smile there are no prerequisites other than okay sorry there are no prerequisites to being a roller derby girl except having a gung-ho attitude and having the self-confidence to fall on your bum to kick the rest of Australia's ass. I have been so lucky to originally be from Austin, Texas, where I got to watch Roller Derby come back to life in 2000. And lucky for me, I moved to Australia, the sister city, Adelaide, which nobody really knows, is the sister city to Austin, Texas. So not only is an Austin girl moving into Adelaide, Adelaide's gonna have a roller derby team, and the captain of the Texas Roller Derby, who's from Austin, the sister city, is going to come train us, which is amazing. So we're getting trained by the Austin, Texas Roller Derby League, which means we're going to be as good as they are. Hey everyone, welcome back to Inline Plus. We're joined by Naomi Grigg, who is a freestyle slalom skating expert, if you allow me to use that term. No problem. Now, uh, you obviously go over, all over the world and teach people how to um, slalom and freestyle. How do you prepare for a class like that, or how do you prepare teaching them? Um, it depends the level that I'm teaching. Uh, absolute beginner slalomers nowadays, I actually don't prepare at all. I just turn up and make sure that I know everybody's name and background. Um, for the more advanced skaters, I have to know exactly where they're at. I have to have seen some of their skating and have to have a lot of moves because then they get a bit of choice as well. How do you work between different levels of the uh, skating ability? Um, there was a lot of cones going down this weekend, I can assure you that. <laughs> yes, always cones <laughs> going down, whatever the level. Uh, the higher the level, often the more cones. Um, uh, yeah, people tend to work together on different moves, so some of the class will be working on something more basic, some of the class more something more advanced, and one or two people uh, I'm just causing a lot of pain to with really difficult moves. Down, down earlier, down. Now you're all over Australia, you're here in Melbourne, how's Melbourne been, how's the class been this week? 
uh, this weekend for you? It's been so sunny. And the class has been great. Um, a year ago in Melbourne, um, uh, people were coming to do slalom for the first time and they weren't sure if they'd enjoy it. And some of them did and some of them didn't and some came back. Uh, this time, um, everybody is a lot more interested in slalom. It's really great to see people learning all the stuff that um, I learnt. And sometimes I teach people to actually be better than me. And uh, that's actually kind of more rewarding in a funny kind of way. Air time, yeah. So it's air, air. I got a So it's picked up in front of you. Yes. Let's go for it. Yeah, the class is going great this weekend. Um, it's great view, obviously, a lot of people, so great advertisement. And yeah, we have fun. <laughs> hey, fun. Let's stay on today. Grant? Oh, got a lot of muscles that are tired and complaining, but I'm doing things today that if you told me I was. Today, I'd be, if you told me yesterday I'd be doing these things today, I wouldn't have believed you. So, I'd certainly improve my skating a bit, but uh, yeah, the old bones and old muscles aren't what they used to be. So I'm really, really tired and really exhausted. I'll go home and I'll, yeah, start working on all my moves, trying to get them all smooth and everything, and then I'll go out and have a bit of a play with it. Should be fun. Well, I'm going to try and go on. You're watching Inline Plus. That was pretty close. Okay, that was Inline Plus for another week. Hey guys, thanks heaps for joining us. More jam-packed Inline Plus next week. Enjoy your skating and bye for now. Coming up after the break, John Power takes off his shirt. You can't wait to see it, can you? 